Hey friends, I'm Derek and welcome to the channel. Here you will know everything about Bears. The Chicago Bears are no strangers to making bold moves in the NFL. And if recent rumors are true, they could be on the verge of another blockbuster trade that would completely reshape their roster. The team has been aggressively pursuing talent to fortify their defense. And after missing out on one key player, they might have their sights set on an even bigger prize. Hasten Reddick, one of the NFL's most explosive pass rushers. Let's check out and explore this addition that Ryan Poles should be keeping an eye on. Firstly, I ask for your help. Leave a like. Many of you watch our content daily and forget to click the thumbs up. This is a humble way to support us. It costs nothing and helps us a lot. I'm grateful to you. Thanks. Hasten Reddick, one of the NFL's premier pass rushers who currently finds himself in a standoff with the New York Jets over a contract dispute. Reddick, a former pro bowler, was traded to the Jets last spring in exchange for a conditional third-round pick from the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, with just one year left on his three-year, $45 million contract, Reddick is holding out for a new deal. According to ESPN's Jeremy Fowler, the Bears are one of the teams showing interest in trading for Reddick. If this move happens, it could be one of the biggest trades of the year. The proposed trade package, according to Fowler, looks like this. Jets receive 2025 third-round pick, 2025 sixth-round pick. Bears receive Hayson Reddick, 2025 fifth round pick. At first glance, this trade looks like a win-win for both teams. The Jets would get additional draft capital, while the Bears would receive one of the most dangerous pass rushers in the league. But is it worth it for the Bears to give up more future draft picks after already parting with some for other players? There's no denying that adding Hayson Reddick to the Bears' defense would be a game-changer. Over the past four seasons, Reddick has been a model of consistency, recording sack totals of 12.5, 11, 16, and 11, respectively. His ability to pressure the quarterback makes him one of the league's elite pass rushers, and at 29 years old, he still has plenty left in the tank. If Reddick were to join the Bears, he'd form a lethal duo with Montez Sweat, who the Bears acquired last season. Having both Reddick and Sweat coming off the edge would give the Bears one of the most formidable pass rushing tandems in the NFL, capable of wreaking havoc on opposing offenses. However, the move doesn't come without risks. Reddick is in the final year of his contract, and the Bears would likely need to sign him to a long-term deal if they were to make the trade. While Reddick has proven his worth on the field, there's always a risk in committing significant financial resources to a player approaching 30, especially one who is demanding a new contract. At the end of the day, the decision to trade for Hayes and Reddick comes down to weighing the risks and rewards. On one hand, adding a proven pass rusher like Reddick would instantly elevate the Bears' defense and give them a legitimate chance to compete for a playoff spot in 2023. On the other hand, giving up more draft capital and committing to a new contract for Reddick carries its own set of risks. If Daryl Taylor continues to perform at a high level, the Bears might decide that they don't need to make a move for Reddick. However, if they feel that adding Reddick would be the missing piece to their defensive puzzle, it wouldn't be surprising to see them pull the trigger on this blockbuster trade. The Bears are clearly in win-now mode, and with Caleb Williams still on his rookie contract, the time is right for bold moves. Whether or not Reddick is the answer remains to be seen, but one thing is for sure. The Chicago Bears are not afraid to make a splash, and this potential trade could send shockwaves through the NFL. What do you think, Bears fans? Should Chicago go all-in on Hayes and Reddick? Or do you believe Daryl Taylor's impressive start means the Bears should hold off on making any more trades? Do you think adding Reddick is worth the future draft picks? Or should the team focus on developing their current talent? Leave your analysis in the comments. Remember to leave your like and subscribe to the channel. Be another fan of our community and let's strengthen the bears. Until the next video.